So, we move on to Premier League action and we are away to arguably the toughest game we could have possibly had and that is Manchester City, who currently sit top of the league having not lost a game yet. Now, they are fresh off of the back of going to Napoli and winning 4-2. I've seen a lot of people talking about, oh, it was a fantastic performance. It was this, it was that. They are great. Yeah, it was a good performance, but... Let's rein it back in a little bit. Napoli sit top of the league based on the fact that they have whacked up five teams in the bottom six in the last five or six games. So very similar to how Man United started this season where they were playing lesser teams and bowling them over. That is exactly what Napoli have done, hence why they are top of the league. Now when Manchester City, a proper team, went to play against them, we all see what happened. They got done over. Now... Don't take nothing away from Man City. They are a fantastic outfit. And we are going to be up against it. If we can even get a draw, I'll be happy. But I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking the only weak links in their team are their centre-backs. Other than that, I think they're solid pretty much all over the pitch. The goalkeeper's come in. He's done really well. Um, couldn't have done any worse than Claudio Bravo. Or should we call him the clown? Um, every shot against him just went straight in. So they've made an improvement there. They've brought in Kyle Walker, who is better than Bakary Sanya. So they've made an improvement there. They've brought in untold amounts of players over the last few years. And if you, if you look at their squad, it is just unbelievable. The players they have got, Sterling, Sane, De Bruyne, Silva, Aguero, Jesus. We're fucked. We are absolutely fucked. Now, on the flip side of that, we go into this game having rested all of our players. Everybody who played last night against Belgrade. And if you haven't seen my review of that game, go and watch afterwards. I posted that last night straight after the game. So feel free to go and have a look at that. Um, another one, all doom and gloom. Everyone's getting the arse because it was a shit performance. But, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do to get through. We got through. We've got a youth team playing this competition with a couple of experienced players. I'm happy. We're through. I want to win it. But I am now going to get into my 1-11 to for this game. Um, I am going to surprise a few of you people as well because my team selection is missing a key ingredient. But we will come to that in a minute. So my 1-11 to is as follows. I am going with Petr Cech in goal. Um, don't need to explain that. Moving on. Going okay, five at the back. That's what Wenger's going to do. Um, Koscielny, Per Mertesacker and Nacho Monreal. Nacho's been our best player this season in my opinion. I think he's been solid every single game I've seen him, bar Liverpool obviously. Um, but I think he's put a shift in and he's an unsung hero. He doesn't get the credit that a Sanchez, an Ozil or a Lacazette gets. But the job he does for that team, and let's have it right, he's a left back and he's played centre back most of this season. And he is doing a great job in there. So fair play to him. Um, left back, Said Kalasanak. If we had five defenders like this guy, we'd probably win the title. But we don't. So, yeah, he's my left back for the game. Right back, Hector Bellerin. Or right wing back, Hector Bellerin. Um, much improved recently as well. And fair play to him because he's knuckled down by the looks of it. And he's getting better each game. Um, couldn't have got any worse though, could he? Because he was tripe last season. Now, Granite Xhaka. Um, what do we know about Xhaka this season? Well, we know that he has gifted maybe five or six goals to the opposition. But we also know he can spin on the halfpence and spray a pass. And that is exactly what he did at the weekend when he sprayed the ball over to Kalasanak, who chested it down and then set up Aaron Ramsey. So... I am going with Granit Xhaka in this game because I see that it's going to be a midfield battle and they're going to come forward. They're the home team. They have to come forward. They ain't going to go any different. They're not a defensive-minded team. So we need players in that central midfield that can spin and spray a pass. 
to get our counter-attack going. And that is exactly where Granit Xhaka comes in. I think this game is ideally suited to him. Now, next to him, somebody I've slagged off quite a few times over the years, but he's actually starting to get me, get me thinking the other way. And that's Aaron Ramsey. He scored at the weekend against Swansea. He scored a few goals this season, and his all-round performances have been a lot, lot better than previous seasons. Now, let's not get carried away. It is only November, and we all know Aaron Ramsey can disappear for half a season. But, again, he's another one. He can chip in with a goal. He don't mind doing the defensive side of the game, and he has got a pass on him. So that's my centre midfield pairing. Now, in front of them, behind our only striker, this is where I am mixing this up. I'm going with Mesut Ozil, and the reason I'm going with Mesut Ozil in this game is because it's about time he showed us in a big game what he is capable of. He has been fantastic in the last two games, but that is against teams that are in the bottom half of the table. Now let's see how world-class Mesut Ozil really is. Now next to him, I am going with Alex Iwobi. Now yes, you're probably thinking, whoa, that's a bit of a shocker. Alex Awobi, in my opinion, was fantastic against Chelsea. And I had this debate last night with somebody, and they were saying, nah, everyone's blinded because Ozil didn't play, and blah, blah, blah. All right, now I'll tell you where Alex Awobi was good. It wasn't that he was busting his gut to get back and slide tackling and all that, but what he did is when he lost the ball, he got straight back into position and cut passing lanes. Now, them passing lanes are important to cut because then the centre-back who's coming out with the ball has no alternative other than to go sideways, and against Chelsea, it worked perfectly. The amount of times Aspilicueta put the ball out of play or misplaced the pass. And that was down to Alex Iwobi cutting them lanes by getting straight back in position when he loses the ball. I am going with Alex Iwobi. Now, the striker for this game picks himself. That is Alexander Lacazette. Now, all of you are now probably going nuts that I ain't picked Alexi Sanchez. Listen, I love Alexi Sanchez, but he isn't playing well. Yes, I know he got a goal against Everton, but he gives the ball away an awful lot and you can afford to do that against a lesser side. Against Man City, sorry, you can't afford to do that. So I am going with Lacazette up front with that two behind them. And personally, I think if we go with that, we have a chance. Not of a win, but we have a chance of maybe a draw. If we go with the front three, the Ozil, the Lacazette and the Sanchez... I can't see anything other than a Man City spanking for us because the problem you'll have is you'll have Lacazette trying to hold the ball up, the midfielder get back and try and squeeze him, he'll pass it to Sanchez, Sanchez will get crowded out, they'll nick the ball and they'll be on the break. We need to have a balanced game with a balanced side. I think that the team I've picked gives us a little bit of everything, gives us pace and power up front with Lacazette and Awobi. It gives us a little bit of passing vision with Ozil and Xhaka. And it gives us the midfield engine with Aaron Ramsey. Now, if we play that team and sit deep and try and steal it on the counter-attack, I could possibly see us getting something. But I don't think Wenger will go with that. I think he will go with Lacazette, Sanchez and Ozil. But there we go. Anyway, I am going for... Manchester City 5, Arsenal 1. Sorry, but there we go. Subscribe, like, share. Leave your comments down below. I'll be trying to get to as many of you as I can. Laters, peeps. Mm -hmm.